morning, everyone. We interrupt. Let's make a deal for breaking news out of Baltimore County, where there has been an active shooter scene this morning reported at the Security Square Mall. We do know that two law enforcement officers with Baltimore police were injured. They were taken to shock trauma, but their injuries are non-life-threatening. Here is a podium set up outside shock trauma. We do expect a press conference some point this morning. Commissioner Michael Harrison is there at shock trauma, checking on the information and condition of the officers who were injured. We still don't know the condition of the suspect, but the suspect was also hospitalized. We have a team at Security Square Mall, including Captain Cindy Thrift in Chopper 13 and Investigator Mike Helgren on the ground, who's been reporting the scene since it's been reported from police. Mike, good afternoon. What can you tell us? Tim and Lynn, right now, those officers, we, we've heard from Baltimore County Police, have non-life-threatening injuries. That's the good news. We understand they were serving a warrant here in the parking lot, and it remains an active scene here. There's actually a truck just behind me near the Macy's that has uh, some uh, windows shattered due to bullet holes. Now, we understand these are two Baltimore City Police officers who were injured. They were with the Warrant Apprehension Task Force. Force. The suspect was also injured in this shooting here. They were serving a warrant. We first learned about this in the 8 o'clock hour. There is no danger, we understand, to the general public. There are a lot of law enforcement officers here now on the scene because they continue to investigate this. Still a very active investigation. We don't know how exactly this unfolded. Just that these officers were serving a warrant and then things turned violent. Again, two Baltimore City police officers with the Warrant Apprehension Task Force are at shock trauma right now, being treated for non-life-threatening injuries. And the suspect was also injured in this. We have, at this point, no information on the suspect, no identity. We expect that to come later. All of the official sound, we understand, is coming from shock trauma, where, as you saw at the top of the hour, there was uh, there's a podium set up. We're waiting to hear more information and more information on the exact injuries to the officers here, Tim and Lynn. Mike, do you have more information about what the Warrant Apprehension Task Force is? Well, yes, they do try to get uh, violent offenders with open warrants in custody. We understand it's made up of officers from Baltimore City, Baltimore County, and the U.S. Marshal's Office. They work in teams around the city and the county, and they try to get these violent offenders into custody to cut down on some of the violence that we have seen in our area. Mike, we know we have the chopper up, and we were able to see from Captain Cindy uh, the area, mm -hmm. but can you tell how far reaching, how vast this uh, police scene extends? You know, it's actually not that large. It, it extends from basically, if you're aware of or familiar with Security Square Mall, from the Macy's, which is just to, uh, to my right, and then uh, over to uh, the end of the Bayett Furniture Store. So uh, not, a, not a huge scene here, but the parking lot remains blocked off uh, as police investigate. And we have seen uh, a number of undercover officers as well as city and county officers here on the scene trying to piece together exactly what happened. And we expect them to fill us in more on the details. Again, we don't know exactly what led to the shooting at this point, other than these officers were serving a warrant, and we don't know the identity uh, of the person that they were trying to apprehend here this morning. All right, Mike, thank you so much for that update. Oh, we just have some breaking news yeah, from the do. control room. We have learned, Mike, that Baltimore County Police have said the suspect did die in this situation. Right. So that is uh, from Baltimore City Police, as you said. And we were also told, of course, that the officers at shock trauma have non-life-threatening injuries. But again, uh, Mike, we're just hearing that. Of course, the suspect, again, uh, reported has died now. Uh, we're waiting still for the update from shock trauma on the current condition of those police officers who were transported earlier. We will bring you that news conference live as soon as they started to get the newest information about this developing situation in Woodlawn. Involved Involving two Baltimore City police officers shot and injured while serving a warrant in Baltimore County. Okay, so be very aware of that area. Of course, Security Boulevard just off of uh, Beltway Exit 17. This is in the 6900 block of Security Boulevard right there at the mall. And as Mike said, they're just between uh, the Sears and the... Uh, 
grill there. Tokyo Grill is the food uh, location there. So if you're in that area, just be aware of the police activity. Try to stay away and let that activity go on uninterrupted by any pedestrians or any, you know, tra uh, traffic from the local area. So stay with us online at WJZ.com for updates. And again, we'll bring you that news conference live as soon as it begins. Let's get back to Let's Make a Deal.